Hello! Hi there, my name is Halusa Twin, and this is a very special 3,000 subscriber video, um, which I've decided to do in the style of Ashens, which I thought would be um, quite interesting, but I'm sort of a bit stuck for things to talk about. So, um, what I decided to do is just grab all the um, archived... Uh, programs that I used to use, except for the ones I don't own anymore, unfortunately, and just go through them a little bit, and um, so on and so forth. Anyway, uh, let's start off with the first program that I ever used, which was um, it was Dance EJ, and uh, it was quite a simple program. Basically, um, you just like take a preset um, riff patterns and then put them into little boxes on a score and then you press play and then it would just the music would just come through some of the times it wouldn't work sometimes it was okay most of the time they made the samples to uh, sort of work with each other anyway going straight on to the more important program but then stemmed on to an even more important program which i've used for years uh, called music by jester unfortunately i don't have the original uh, game or disc anymore but going on to the um, the reincarnation of it, I still have Music 2000, which is something that I and, I believe, um, the Enigma TNG used to use. Now, I used to use this in the early 2000s. Uh, the Enigma TNG, I'm not, I'm not too sure. I think he used um, music two, music three thousand as well. Yeah, sorry, music three thousand as well, which I never used. I didn't like the look of it, the down scale um, score and all that. It just confused me. I prefer the scale that goes across the the score that goes from left to right. Anyway, this um, I don't have the pictures on the back, unfortunately, to describe what it looks like. So basically, we just have to use our um, the power of our imagination. But, um, so, um, what I'll do is, um, I'll just talk a little bit more about this. So, it was made by Codemasters, which is the original creator for Dizzy, and possibly Seymour, I don't know, you'll have to ask Lu uh, Guru Larry. Luru Gary? Who's that? That could be his alter ego, or something like that. Or maybe I'm just talking complete nonsense. And endorsed by Leftfield, a uh, popular electronic 90s band, and Groove Rider, which I believe, if I'm correct in assuming, was the DJ uh, in the early and late 90s that uh, used to perform at raves and nightclubs, uh, playing happy hardcore, rave, and such other rubbishy, high-paced, jungle, breakbeat, yeah, all that stuff. Anyway, let's just open this up, and oh, one of the discs has fallen out. This, uh, well, not that. Ooh, I tell you what, we'll talk about this. This I got from a magazine, a computer game magazine. I can't remember which one it was, but it's filled with um, drum loops, tutorial tracks, and example focus, example riffs, which actually helped me produce a lot of music when I started out, because I didn't have a lot of idea. So listening to this gave me um, some uh, inspiration. It also has 70 instrument samples, or over 70 instrument samples, which I actually used. In the original music game, you could import samples using the uh, disc tray. It would allow you to open it, put the disc in, and then record the sample, edit it, and then use it in your song. Although it would usually make the game crash uh, badly, um, uh, even on a PlayStation uh, Slim, or whatever it was called, compact tablet, I don't know. Anyway, um, even then, uh, but it was a nice feature, which um, I ripped all these instruments, put them on my PC, and I have used these in current songs that I make now. Uh, okay, so this game, I believe this one was from the original music, because it's um, produced in 1998. There you go, by Cold Storage. I, I, I don't know, that sounds really familiar. But anyway, they made a bunch of tracks which I'm going to play on this video, um, which uh, came with the disc. I don't have the original one though, I don't have the original music disc, but I do have the original music 2000 disc. Oh, look at it in all its glory. Beautiful. Stroke it, touch it, but don't taste it. And there we are. Uh, unfortunately, I thought I'd lost this um, disc, so I bought a budget copy. Yeah. That is um, pretty naff. Chuck it, you know, at your dog or I don't know, annoying kid or something. I don't know. Even the even the um, the instruction manual is plastered with all this this guff and and, and arse candle. I mean, it has a nice little logo on the back. So 
still has that little man there. Hello. I like him, he's cool. Um, but yes, the disc itself wasn't too great, but I found the original one that I had, and it still works. I tried it out the other day. So, moving on. There we are. The next thing I used to use after that, which I bought from a workplace I was working with, was a game in 2002, which was Music 2002. Yes, Club Edition. I don't know why it's Club Edition. The instruments are literally the same as the old one. There was a couple of new instruments, but mostly the same. And how could it be Club Edition when you can make your own music? You could literally make classical mu- well, not so good. Low grade classical music, which was like a bar above um, MIDI, but um, probably a frame below uh, recording and studio standard, but it was still quite nice. Uh, you know, pictures on the back here. This is what the score looked like, uh, where you put all your riffs. Um, and then here is the, the video ones, which the video maker, which nobody ever used because it was pointless and pretty um, lame and used to use up all your RAM and crash and all, all sorts of crazy business and um, and this stop blurring man what's the hell what the there we go and right, I'm gonna have to hold it here okay so I hope you've got good eyes this is the riff editor you could go into the wave but there was no real point but you could put the points like the notes in each um, different key slot um, or, or timing or bar or whatever but anyway um, yeah so uh, uh, all different languages, um, uh, all sorts of blah blah blah. Uh, three plus was the rating for this game. Uh, so if you was three, you could play this. I don't know how. It's not exactly a game. It's a. It's kind of a budget program. I mean, this is quite cheap, if I remember rightly. When I bought this, it was about twelve ninety nine. So you know, that's that's um, that's pretty good value for money for what you can do with it. And I used this program mainly for effects. Now, it does have a music maker in it as well. Uh, music Studio Generation MM. I believe the MM is Music Maker. Or it might be MIDI Maker. Or it might be MIDI Music. Or it might be MIDI... MIDI. Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> yes, so this here is the um, effects engine. Which basically, you import different waves or... or um, WAV, sorry, or MP3s, or, or OX, or whatever, right? and it brings it up to a wavetable, and then you select part of that wave, and create um, different effects. I use this mainly for the F echo and reverb, because it's actually quite good, uh, and obviously it has a music maker here, which is pretty much like every other music maker. Uh, wave um, editor here, um, it also has... Um, if you can write music, you can actually write music in there, or you can just do it the easy way, which is just like tabs, where you put keys in the right place along the bar. There you go. Although I've never used this before because, to be honest with you, this is far more superior than this, and the program I'm using right now is far more superior than both of these, but I still use this for the effects. Now, um, the program I use now, I don't have a box for, unfortunately, because I did a digital download. So. Um, I'll just tell you about it. I used Reason 5.0. I used to use Reason 4, and then I upgraded to 5. But now, I'm stuck at 5 because I can't get 8. It's so expensive. So, 5.0 is good enough for me. Uh, once I get enough money, uh, we'll probably upgrade to 8. I have got a trial of 8, but um, I'm not that fast about it at the moment, as I'm able to make satisfactory music with the program I'm using now. I have used through loops in the past as well, very briefly, and I did use a few other programs as well, uh, just to get inspiration and ideas. Um, I can't remember their names, uh, probably no, CJ 5 or something, I don't know. Uh, one, the one that had a music editor, I think it was 7 or something, but that, that was uh, not too great either. Anyway, moving on to something else. Right, so, I thought I would just go through, I will just show you, one of my most favourite possessions I've ever owned, and that is, a copy of Gunstar Heroes for the Mega Drive, Mega Drive because we are in Britain, yes, in fact, as far as I'm aware, it was only the American, uh, the, Amer yeah, the Americans that had the Genesis, 
Even in Japan it would call the Mega Drive, although it was probably Nicky and I don't know, that sounded more like Russian actually. But anyway, you know what I mean. Um, they, um, that Sega being an American company, Service Games, um, obviously wanted to name the machine the Genesis, but they wanted it for themselves, and they wanted everyone else to have Mega Drive. So if you're from Britain or Japan or, or Europe, Mega Drive is And unfortunately, we, we in Britain and possibly America got the shit design. Now, there is a different design to this Japanese one, which gives it more of a manga look. look I mean, uh, yeah. Anyway, I used to love this game, I still do, it's still absolutely epic. Oh, one or two players, 16-bit cartridge, um, it doesn't have a rating on it. I don't get any of these, just with, um, sad onions. Look, I mean, wow, I mean, still got a seat, but 19, 19th of 9th, 2004, that was why I worked at game. This was a pre-owned because we were doing retro pre-owning and I quickly snagged this because I unfortunately lost my original copy of Gunstar Heroes. Uh, so I had to buy a, a new copy. Unfortunately, the copy that I got wasn't the, um, the original copy of the game, it was the bundle copy. Yeah, Gunstar Heroes and then three lame games. Altered Beast, which is like, uh, well, a classic, but yeah. Um, Alex the Kid, which was going to be the, um, the original Sega icon. Well, that's how, that's what people thought. It actually wasn't. I think there was another story to it, but, uh, you'll find out on Gary's channel. Yeah, he talks about that. And then Flicky, what the hell is Flicky? Now, I, I, I this one baffles me, so I, I, these other games, I don't even bother playing, but this one occasionally, but I do own it on my PC, and I also own it on my Xbox, so... There's, there's no real reason to have this, except for, um, you know, nostalgic reasons. But this is the most Gunstar Hero. See, I think, because they bundled it with three other games, they had to put three really small, crappy games, because this game is just so large, there's so much in it, and it's just amazing. And it might actually explain my obsession for recreating the original Gunstar Hero soundtrack. Look. We've got a, uh, an, an old Mega Drive. It's Mega Drive 2, though, unfortunately. I don't have the original Mega Drive 1. Um, look how dusty it is. Oh, my God. Jesus. Okay, let's get rid of that. Um, but, yeah, so... Um, I just thought I'd share that with you. And um, I'm also going to put a um, special uh, download on my music downloading website. I have started making... Dragon Ball Z, the remakes, volume three. Now, I've only got about 12 tracks, but I'm gonna release those for the month, the entire month of September, for free. Yes, that's right, you heard me, for free. So get on there, download that, have it, because after September, it's gonna disappear, and then I'm gonna finish the, the album, and then put it back up. I mean, don't get me wrong, when the, video, when the album is completed, it will be free anyway, but, you will only be able to download these uh, special edition 12 tracks for free in the entirety of September. Thank you very much for being a subscriber. Thank you for all the support and everything that you've given me. I, I, I'm, I'm over the moon and I'm absolutely thrilled to bits that, um, that you're still watching um, and still listening to the music that I'm producing for you. Uh, keep the suggestions coming in and always uh, stay cool and... Uh, Stay in school. <laughs> See you later, guys. Subscribe for more.